big light sphere. Like a lot of big lights. That's a, it's a big light. I didn't know you could put a price on this side. Also, 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 just give me a They do look it. It's just between us. That is Terry Donnelly. Here we are at SWPP. Cameras, they're flying out. Okay, lenses, they're all going to. Drones, everything's on sale. If you want one, come to me. But man, the one and only, Stuart Lee Furbank has arrived, okay? Hello. The show is here. God. Yeah. That What's really happening? That's really good. How much is it? Admit, I have something to admit to, to, to you and people. Yeah. And you started zooming in on it, complaining about. I think I turned off the video camera in our hands oh, and just vlogging. Oh, oh, look behind us. There he is! Oh. We found it! We found it! So what have you got here then? We've got the 400 2.8 on a Z9, 120 pictures a second. Really sharp. Really sharp. Really. really, really. really. Crazy. Hey Stuart, um, me and Jackson got a bit jealous so we thought we'd pick up a camera and uh, yeah, give it a go. We'd give it a why, go. Why, why are you jealous? It's cool man, look what you're doing. I think it's really important to actually come to these kinds of events because for one, it's a great chance for to get feedback from customers as well as, you know, allow us to have a play with some toys because at the end of the day, it's really about the toys, isn't it? Let's face it. Today, the headline act is uh, the A9 Mark III and we're combining that with a 300 mm 2.8. So, beautiful combination. Absolutely class act. And of course, we did a video on it in Turkey. Thanks to Sony actually sending this out that way. Thank you again, it was absolutely <laughs> lovely. Seriously though, check it out. It was an awesome video and a really good time. All the other cameras going forth from here are gonna be in the shadow of this camera. Uh, especially when it comes to that global sensor. And it's gonna be interesting to see how they add that into further generations of cameras. Correct, definitely. Um, well, I think the global shutter thing is like the holy grail of mirrorless technology, isn't yeah. it? When you start talking about like taking away that mechanical mirror, shooting directly on the sensor, it's like, okay, right, how do we take away all those mechanical components? Yeah. And we've now reached that point going into a global shutter phase. And yeah. I think we can now start to see that technology filter down and I guess other people in the industry will adopt it as well. So it's like the next step in that mirrorless technology. Yeah. But you were the first, yeah. although Canon slipped in that pattern, <laughs> you, you were the first to actually like release it to a uh, consumer camera. Exactly, and in terms of release, you know, we've got it here today at SWPP, we're midway through January. Like, this is available in two weeks' time. Yeah. I mean, you can come in today, you can see the product, you can fall in love with it, and in two weeks' time you can have it, which yeah. is like super exciting. Normally, with products like this, there's a long lead time. You might see it somewhere, it's months and months and months yeah. and months before you can get it in hand, so it's really nice timing. Sick, awesome. Nice catching up with you, Thanks. man. Hi guys, here we are, how's the whoosh? Um. <laughs> we've got a, a huge range of things. Being a distributor, we've got everything from yeah. imagery lenses to filtration. Yeah. Uh, we've got the monitors from Atomos, of course. Yeah. Uh, we've even got Yolo Lives monitors. Condor Blue cages, uh, the new Blackmagic full frame camera. Um, and, and everything That's else in between. Right. No, as you pointed out, we've got the new Ninja and Ninja Ultra. Uh, we've not got the Shoguns here, but of course you've got the seven inch option yeah. for the Shogun uh, recorders or you can as go well. For the sumo, uh, <laughs> and mount it on top of the camera <laughs> because it's pos possibly the easiest way to do that. Yeah, well, I'd hope you wouldn't miss focus if you've got that on your camera. No, I feel like you would never miss focus. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very pretty. I wonder if somebody has actually tried to. Yeah. Um, and of course, podcasting and of course, sort of like live streaming kind of things become more and more important recently. Exactly. So um, you mentioned that you also do the Yolo Live stuff, which yes. is uh, an exciting new area, I guess. Well, not necessarily new, because you've been doing it for a little while. Yeah. But that particular product is excellent for doing live streams. We actually did the entirety of Wales and West last year on that. I remember you saying, yeah, actually, yeah. 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 yeah, they're just a really nice all-in-one, really user-friendly as well. Yeah. It is what you see. It's nice and easy to switch, to see what audio has been recorded. And I just like how you can make the layouts really quickly. You're not really having to look at what you're doing. It's just a nice quick switch. I'm really excited. I really like camera technology and I love coming to these things. It's exciting. I came all the way from Cardiff today on the train. It's been a hell of a journey. But yeah, I think we should get to it really, shouldn't we? I have no idea if they're going to yeah, do an L no. version. You know, it's one of those things that at that price point and for the amount you're getting in it, it's yeah. never going to be an L at that price yeah. point for, for what it is. But the, the quality's there, you know, and you've, you've tested it, you've, yeah, you've yeah. seen it, you've tried to play it's with really it. Awesome. Um, the one that we're, we're getting a lot of interest in here, being a sort of wedding market, uh, yeah. wedding and portrait market, is the 24 to, two, 24 to 105 2.8. So, which is your favourite setup on uh, Canon at the moment then? 
So my, my personal setup, uh, my go-to personal setup is an R5 with a 51.2, yeah. but I am sorely tempted by the 24105 and an R6 Mark II, as that would be in my do-everything yeah. setup. It just does everything well. You, yeah, yeah. you can pretty much throw anything at that camera and it'll, it'll eat it up. <laughs> it'll eat it up, yeah, definitely, definitely. Something that I think needs to be said here is how hard everyone worked at SWPP. I arrived on the third day and it was hustling and bustling and it was an amazing experience and these guys had already been here for two days prior to me arriving and that's just crazy in and of itself the love for camera tech but also photography as a art was alive here Control, and it was so so <laughs> much fun it's absolutely bitter at the moment isn't it i don't want pinky skin tones magenta skin tones we don't want so terry what are we doing I managed to convince the legend Terry Donnelly to give me a little workshop kind of thing and uh, show me how he actually creates photos. It was a really lovely experience and here's a few bits from that interaction. Okay Gav, what we're doing? He also thinks I'm Gav. We're just going to do an impromptu photo shoot uh, using the Rotalize AOS 2 Pro and we're going to use it in continuous light mode because it's a full what you see is what you get environment so we can set it up very quickly because it is really cold at the moment and we don't want our model to get any too cool <laughs> and then let me line the shot up step aside that way a little bit more perfect just there let me just add the shot up so i'm just going to fix the composition really uh, gavin at this present moment get my exposure value right i'm using some of the elements which are here which are these lighting poles which are running down which is going to give us implied depth as it runs through. It's going to drag us into the shot. The show is still going. Nick's just arrived with a 400 belt 2.8. Legend, oh, Nick on. And we are joined by Sony, Vida from Sony. Say hello to people. Hello to people. <laughs> Coming to the end on my first day at SWPP, it was a brilliant time to meet so many people and talk about future plans. I'm going to put a couple other little snippets of the interview here now, and then we're going to move into day two. So we are now at Kenro checking out some of the new stuff. So what have we got here then? So we have the new Cob Light. It was released at the show to, well yesterday. It is 2700 to 7500 Kelvin. So we've got a full bicolor spectrum. We've made it USB-C powered, so it can be so small, portable, on the go. Actually quite surprised because when I first got here, the light was actually quite dim and I thought that was going to be what the light could do because that's what you kind of expect out of the smaller lights, right? But you actually then turned up the light and I was just like, do you know what, that would actually be perfect. I'm just ending up talking about stuff yeah. I want, to be honest with you. That's the trouble about these kind of shows. Is that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the conversation that ends up happening with me, to be honest with you. The yeah. 35150, we've had a lot of interest today and yesterday yeah. and people are coming up to us, they might have heard of it but they, they, when they pick it up and they think actually there's, there's nothing else like that lens, yeah. it's f2 to 2.8, yeah. 35 to 150, it's incredibly versatile. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, to have it in Nikon fit is, is well we're pretty pleased, yeah. it's been pretty popular. So we have the uh, vlog squad. Vlog squad. Vlog, squad. vlog squad, assemble. Assemble. It's freezing. It's really it's cold. Cold. What you need, guys, is layers. Layers. August have layers. <laughs> Onions have layers. Camera center. Camera center. UK. What a brilliant ending to a Friday night. Let's go into the next day. Hi everyone. So it's the last day of the show. Um, it's kind of exceptional. It's Saturday. Um, a lot of a uh, lot of tired faces and glared eyes right now. I think uh, last night was a was a late night. It was a late night. It was great shared memories though. I said Jackson. And she wrote Jack on the coffees. Listen, where's that? There. Anyway. Oh my God. Is that Stuart Lee Furback from YouTube? <laughs> the boys from Camera Centre have been at it for four days, all in all. Put in a hell of a shift. I heard the award ceremony went down really well. Some very talented photographers being a part of that. And uh, if you want to check out any of this kind of stuff, just head over to the Society of Photographers website. Terry Donnelly, who is a master of light and also a Sony ambassador, I managed to pinch him for a couple seconds. And that was really cool. Just like the workshops as well. Workshops are so fun because you really get to learn somebody else's experience of how to be creative. And that's an experience and a pleasure in and of itself. Kicking off. 
okay? Um, everyone wants everything. Terry Donnelly's on his way over. Terry Donnelly's on his way over. He's just stopped off to say hello to Marie from Sony as well. Great person. And the last day pretty much flew by. It was a lot of fun meeting so many incredible people. Thank you if anyone's watching this from the show for turning up. And if you got something from Camera Center, thank you even more. One of the things I've really enjoyed about the show was actually checking out some of the photos set out in the gallery. It was an inspirational experience and thank you to SWPP for allowing us to come down and be one of the retailers there and get to have a lot of fun with so many people. The YouTubers here, and we haven't told him we were vlogging. No. Um, Stu, how did, you, how did you find the show overall? Yeah, uh, it's been awesome. And also, <laughs> right, can we stop swearing for a little bit? I'd like to keep some clips for this. There's a lot of bleeps. I I know. Know. It's just going to be one continuous bleep. One continuous bleep. bleep. And <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> anyway, no, listen. There's other things we can't share shut up. with the world. Aren't um, Stuart joined us. He actually, it actually got so busy that Stuart actually had to start uh, selling. Yeah. Like people were coming up and they were like, Stuart, just sell this stuff. Um, but I think it went really well. Money was taken, clear, people clear, enjoyed. The clear diaries. What we do? The clear diaries. Oh, clear I, diaries. I spat a bit. Clear. Clear. Oh, there it is. Clear. Can, we, can I have, right, uh, can I have like a fancy font going across? Yes. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Like, follow, subscribe if you want to see more. Have a good day.